Amazon ECS Anywhere allows you to register external VMs residing from your on-premise network to your ECS cluster. So here's a diagram, and the idea is that uh, you have uh, on-prem uh, virtual machines or servers, and they are utilizing uh, ECS, okay? So it does have a cost per hour uh, for the managed ECS anywhere for on-premise instances. You register an external instance to a single cluster, and that word external is uh, very particular because you will see that when you set up required capabilities in your task definition, there's something called external. This is what they're talking about. External instances require an IAM role that allows them to communicate with the AWS APIs. And I didn't write it here, but it's actually specifically called the IAM role, like the IAM anywhere role. Okay, so uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, ECS exec is supported on external instances. AWS VPC network mode isn't supported because you aren't exactly deploying it in your VPC. Um, service load balancing isn't supported. Service discovery isn't supported. Uh, ECS uh, capability providers aren't supported. ECS Anywhere uses the launch type external. And uh, SE Linux isn't supported, which is a security feature. EFS volumes aren't supported. You can run ECS Anywhere on Windows, but you need a Windows license, uh, of course. Um, if you want to install it, there's a few things we need to do. I'm gonna get my pen tool out here. And so we need to create an SSM activation pair. And then we need to uh, uh, download the install script and then run the install script. And then the idea is that we will have the service. We'll start the, the service for the ECS service agent. That's basically what we're doing. We're just installing the service agent and giving it role access, um, which are the two things it needs. So there you go.